Hello everybody, my name is Andrew Hester and welcome to Space of Years. Now today I'm going to be covering the topic of welding and grinding shifts. Now, while the recent update where gave us the elite welder and the less important welders and grinders has pretty much made even mine obsolete because of how fast I'm able to, the only difference between the person and the ship is the size of the cargo that you can hold. Otherwise, that's the only advantage current welders and grinding ships have now. So, with that said, though, if you can't afford a an elite welder or grinder, this is the next best option. Or if you have a lot of welding and grinding you need to do, this is still the better option. So, there are two approaches you can do with a welding or grinding ship. And as you can see here, I prefer the Swiss Army knife, if you will, where I have the welders on the front with grinders on the back. And as you can see, I have two cockpits where you basically switch between the two um, for easier um, welding and grinding. If I was going to redesign it with just one cockpit, I would get rid of the rear one and replace it with a camera. But that doesn't give me a third view perspective on, or am I going to run into anything that might damage the thrusters I have here? Is anything going to catch like the uh, connector up there? And I could go with multiple cameras, but that would get a little disorienting. And then not to mention side cameras, but I guess I could put things on the uh, toolbar, but mm, I'm simplistic. I don't mind hopping between the two. But another design approach would be you can have welders on the bottom and top with the grinders sandwiched in the middle just for ease of uh, not having to jump between the cockpits. Another approach you can do is that of having two separate ships. Mind you, this is twice the number of ships you're going to have to manage, not to mention the fact that you would have to dock the grinding ship and welding ship separately to get the materials flowing from grinders to welders and vice versa. Or Actually, you wouldn't need to... Anyway... Another advantage of having two, though, is that if you destroy your grinding ship, like you're grinding a cargo ship, and for some reason you accidentally bump it and you fly over to try to stop it, if you um, mess up the approach in stopping it, you could end up damaging your cockpit on there, in which case you're down that ship, whereas you'd still have your welding ship. However... If you went with a dual cockpit approach right here and you lost this entire backside of your ship because I, for me personally, I have the welding face as the main cockpit even though it's not designated that because it's, I switch between the two cockpits. I don't mind it as I've said. However, to me, the welders are the front this is the back, which means this is right, this is left. Well, they both have the same top to bottom, but oh well. So, basically, that's pretty much the limitations of both. While at the same time, the pros are, well, as I've said, I don't want to repeat myself, so... Basically, that's something to take into consideration when designing your welding and grinding fleet because certain situations may warrant a specific ship, while this one, this particular setup lets me get into little thin, narrow areas, whereas, say, a welding and grinding sandwich, as I call it, I don't care oxygen is low. I have time. Whereas a 
welding and grinding sandwich is a bit more bulky so it's going to be kind of hard to get into the area in which you're trying to weld unless it's a plain flat surface or well it's going to be hard let's just leave it at that because in certain situations like right here I could easily weld this up right now and I actually I can't because this doesn't have steel plates it only has concrete and, and girders yep not a heck of a lot of everything else but I digress oh for a second I thought that was floating away never mind so that's just something to take into consideration when you plan your welding and grinding fleet. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and hopefully it's been helpful to you. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.